it's your boy Chasing Cash, one half of Hit Boy and Chasing Cash, and definitely a part of the Surf Club. You know you can visit us at itsthesurfclub.com, but above all that, make sure you visit karencivil.com. And uh, man, I'm here to talk about myself and whatever else I should talk about. Everything started from a brotherhood. Uh, first off, our story with me and Hit Boy is very interesting. We met via MySpace. And it was pretty much word of mouth via internet. He had heard about me, I had heard about him. And he had happened a sense of music to Sean Kingston. And I was hanging with Sean Kingston and being around him a lot at the time. And um, I heard his stuff and I was a fan of it. And he heard my stuff and he was a fan of mine. That's how we pretty much linked up. And then him and Chili Chill and my boy BC, they pretty much had the surf club thing already going. I jumped into it and just, we all helped connect and take this shit to a new level being that we all from different areas i'm from new orleans and hit boys from pasadena chili chills from pomona brandon's from pasadena as well then we got uh stacy stacy's a singer songwriter she's from new york and um you know she got her style and we got ken money he's from virginia he got his style and my homeboy g rod He's from uh, OC and he got Miami ties and all that. So everyone pretty much got their uh, they own influences and we just bring them all together. But it's definitely a brotherhood. It's nothing forced. It's not like we seen someone with potential and they had a buzz going and just told them to get down. Like it's all brotherhood. We around each other every day. Sun up, sun down. Wherever I'm at, they at. And if they're not there, I'm repping them. So it's just a family thing pretty much. Well, as far as when Hip uh, Quest Love her Hip Boy B, uh, Hip Boy tweeted about it, and uh, Quest Love tweeted a response and told him that it was pretty much fire, like it was hot. So you know, it's pretty much uh, do your thing. Like people enjoy your music, they hear it, they peep in, they. I mean, like, it commands attention. That's one thing you can uh, see. And I mean, and the music speaks for itself. That's another thing you get to see. Like, he didn't know who Hit Boy was. He didn't know who was in there. He just heard the music was dope and he peeked his head in the room and he liked what he heard. So, hey, that's what we strive for pretty much, man. Just for the music to speak for itself. Yeah, honestly, I think Hit Boy does more than I do. Uh, that's why I feel like me and Hit Boy's uh, dynamic is the way it is. Uh, like he's he's very up, he's very excited. I get excited, but I keep everything kind of calm, cool, hold it in, and then kind of try and just go for the next thing. Like I understand it's very, very big, but I also understand it's like a gateway to more things. Like it's pretty much that one thing you can get to show that you're a professional and you know what you're doing as far as your music career and what you can present to the world and be confident in it. So it's definitely, and it gave me more confidence in our ability and feeling like we can be what we set out to be and that's the best producers in the game and no offense to nobody else because we're not really trying to compete but I just really feel like that can show us that we can definitely do music on a high level mainstream commercial whatever setting whatever base we can cover it all so it's definitely great to be a part of history and to start off like that I mean we only 22 years old so I just I just want to continue the um, trail that we started so you know to survive, murdered and bribed, and when it got to heavy Power, man, it's amazing. I feel like it's needed. It's definitely bringing a new sound, and it's um, it's pushing boundaries, man. I like the fact that he's continuing to do what he likes to do, continuing to speak what he speaks about, and do what he does, and I hope everyone who, whether you are artist, producer, or just an artist, and you work with a producer, just take Kanye's vision look at it study it and channel it but do it your own way because that's really what Kanye's doing I just like the freshness in it man it's even though it's going to be played everywhere it's going to be played in the club you can't particularly call it a club track uh, you can't call it uh, just a street track it's just good music and that's what the world need right now that's what people want to hear you keep the sunshine save me the rain I search to never find I could say it's I can't call it paying homage, I can say showing respect and putting on and you know, uh, your music is your voice and, uh, and your voice is powerful and you know, like you can speak something up and next thing you know a bunch of stuff is popping man and we definitely put on for each other. We, we understand that this music is a way to keep everything we got going alive. And we're going to continue to put on, man. He's uh, He shouted out Surf Club before, man. I don't know if people heard it back in the day. He did some shit on the Millie beat. And he shouted out uh, 
Please understand, I am a surf club general, so it's nothing new, man. We doing what we do, man. We keeping family ties strong. Shout out to the whole ATF, OVO, Oliver, Nico, Hush, CJ, Chubbs, P. Rain, everybody, man. Everybody down with the click, man. Um, my boy, man, Drake, man. That's my boy, man. You know, it's a family thing. Shout out to the whole Young Money too. What's good, man? It's your boy Chasing Cash, one half of Hit Boy and Chasing Class, represent Sir Club, and this is Civilized Talk, man. I'm here with Karen Civil, so check me out and check her out. Murdered and bribed, and when it got too heavy, I put my burdens aside so I could pick the world up and I would drop it on your fucking head.